Hi, welcome to Proving Cures. I am Sarah McLeod, your host. Today is Saturday, December 7, 2019, and you are tuned in to part two of a review of Matamba, also known as Guasuma Omofolia Lamb, Brazil's Brazil's Cure for HIV, part two of a two-part series. Hopefully, I'll be able to cover all the important points in uh, this second video, and I won't have to make a third one. Hopefully. Okay, um, the doctor who I was remiss in uh, part one in saying his name properly is Dr. Paulo Guveia, or it could be Guveia. The spelling is G-O-U-V-E-I-A. Um, he's the person who, the scientist who spearheaded the Mutamba project by studying the plant extracts for 10 years. He was specifically studying the tritropine alkaloids and tannins within the Mutamba plant, um, to identify the effectiveness of those, uh, properties of the plant as inhibitors of reverse transcriptase in the viral replication of HIV. Um, his studies produced excellent results and actually uh, killing the HIV virus in human beings within a span of 30 days. I do have some case study results here. I do not want to belabor that too much because I did that um, in the first HIV study that I shared in the Black Seed for Black Seed, my the second video that I did for that series was specifically about the um, study results for one case study, and it went on and on and on. And I don't want to do that too much here because I noticed people were more interested in learning about how much of it to take and how long they have to take it, as opposed to uh, belaboring the actual study results. Um, but I do have one person here that I, I, I have notes on that I made because I have specific results. Um, the person was actually diagnosed with HIV in 2014. Um, and when they presented to the clinic, uh, no, November, November 10th of 2014, the viral load was 200, over 250,000 copies with a CD4 of 598. So that's can be considered AIDS or borderline AIDS. Um, by January, they, then they started the Matamba extract, okay? January 29th of 2015, the viral load was um, presented at 370 copies, with the CD4 raising slightly to 612. Um, April of the same year, so three months after that, the viral load was down to 42 copies with the CD4 jumping up to 861, which is uh, normal and healthy. Excuse me. By uh, three months after that, July 30th, 2015, the viral load was down to less than 40 copies per milliliter of blood with the CD4 at 766. Um, let's see, July, August, September, October, November. November 11th, so about four months later, three to four months later, the viral load was completely undetectable with a CD4 of 798. Um, they tested again. They, they, they write their dates differently than we do in the United States, so I have to, you know, like, make sure I'm saying it properly. They tested again March 8th of 2016, with the viral load being under 40 copies per milliliter, with a CD4 of 822. When they tested again September 15th of that year, their HIV test was inconclusive. That was just one person. This testing and this protocol has since, to my um, written knowledge, has been given to over 100 people. And of those people, they've all had been able to test negative. So what this proves is that the Matamba extract, the tannins, and the triterpene alkaloids are actually potent enough to not just stop replication of the virus like antiretroviral therapy does, but actually um, permeate the cytoplasm of the cell and kill the virus directly. Um, let me see here. I wanna find one more for you, one more case study. 
I know there was a woman who was from Mozambique who was diagnosed in 2008. She didn't start her antiretroviral therapy till 2014. And I don't know, maybe she was inconsistent in taking her medication or what the issue was. But by the time she presented to the clinic in Germany, because she was living in Germany at the time, her viral load was over well over I think like 250,000 copies or something like that so they actually took her off of the antiretroviral therapy and started her on the Mutamba extract for 30 days for excellent results um documented scientific case study is this the one that I just shared with you no because that was 2015 so here is another one 47 year old male patient had hiv for 10 years um and started on the extract january 22nd of 2011 and took it for 30 days i believe this person was actually in brazil uh let's see I'm trying to find the viral load i mean i have their cbc uh their complete blood count here, but I don't have their viral load. <laughs> All I know is they did present uh, January 22nd, 2011 with HIV. And by September of 22nd, their PCR tests, on their P quantitative PCR tests, the, the virus was not detected. Treatment with tannin extracted in this document, the Motamba is referred to as Pithocellobian, which is an extract from the Motamba plant itself, was found to inhibit HIV reverse transcriptase PCR down to zero results. And I can hold the computer up to show you. You'll be able to see where I got this information from so you can look it up for yourself. And I'm gonna put it down in the uh, discussion comments as well. So I don't know, if it, is it focusing? So you can see here, I, I am definitely at a website, which I'm gonna share in the discussion. And these are the, this person's specific uh, blood test results here after taking the Matamba extract. So that's what I'm saying, I don't wanna spend too much time on specific test results because they're going to vary from person to person and it's not really necessary for me to do that um I'm, i will read the con the conclusive the uh results the conclusion of the results it says, given the results, Dr. Guvea has been testing the molecules of tannin mutamba with the intention of finding an effective drug against HIV, since according to their research, the virus of yellow, vi of yellow fever and HIV are equal in terms of structure. In an interview, medical specialist explains treatment directed at two people with HIV, eight months after complete completion of treatment thereof, and the specific PCR tests, such as blood tests that detect viral load were negative in relation to diagnosis of the disease outcome. This means that viruses replicate, they stopped in their multiplication in the body of the patient. I believe a lot of this is translated to English from Portuguese, so it's not gonna necessarily read clearly to a regular English speaker, but just bear with me. Um, quote unquote, they turned to zero viral load and restored in 15 kilograms or 10 kilograms of body weight. Treatment efficacy is practically proven, says scientists and doctor, explaining that now scientists and technical reviews by Opsia, I'm assuming that is the actually a name of a, a Brazilian journal by Opsia, is proven product efficacy and 100%. This is definitely a translation. So try and make sense of what I'm reading to you. 
Dr. Gouveia also explains that because it is a natural remedy, has no contraindications and no ethical moral impediment, continuity and mass can be applied on the population infected. The treatment is only for people who have been identified with HIV virus. So if this is something that you want to try, treatment with HIV only lasts for 30 days. Unlike the black seed therapy that I was sharing in my last video from December of last year, where um, a patient would have to be on that twice a day for six months, which is very hard to keep up with, this regimen is twice a day for only one month, 30 days. Um, and it's a natural healing. It's not something that was chemically handled. So the way it was prepared was 50 leaves from the tops of mature trees were boiled down into two liters of water. And um, the leaves should be mixed with the two liters of water, pure water and ground in a blender. Um, the patient should take the measure of the blender twice a day for 12, every 12 hours for 30 days. That is the treatment. Um, and I know that, and I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to add the method of preparation according to the Mutamba protocol. I'm going to add the link to this in the discussion section below. This is what it looks like. This is not something I'm making up. Oh, oh. I'm gonna hold it up again. These glasses are always rolling down my face. Okay, here, you see? So it's not something I'm making up. I'm going to add the link to this website in the discussion section so you can read it for yourself. And I know the next question, cause I got the question a majillion times on my Black Seed um, video is, where do I get this? Where do I get this? It's hard for me to tell you where to get this because I'm in one country and just because I can get it shipped to me here doesn't mean you can get it shipped to you where you are. So it is on you as a consumer to do your research and figure out how do I get my hands on this stuff. You might have to contact these people in Brazil. That's why I'm leaving the links to all of this information in the discussion section because I can't give you everything. All I can give you is the raw scientific data. This is what was done. This is what was shown. This is what's going on. This is in the world. Now it's up to you as you know the proactive person to get the contacts you have to make and figure out how to get your hands on the stuff. I can't do everything. That being said, I did go to Amazon.com. Amazon is a huge marketplace and they predominant. I know for a fact, if you live somewhere in the United States, you can get the stuff shipped to you. If you live on this side of the world, you can get the stuff shipped to you. I know people in the Caribbean who use Amazon.com. I only recently found out that a lot of the um, retailers on Amazon.com do not ship to Africa. I don't know what to say about that. You have to find another way. When you find a way, please leave a comment for other people who need the help as well so they can know that they can contact, you know, and so on like that. Um, you may find that this is something that grows in Africa. Who knows? And you can get it there, right there in your continent. So um, I hope you find this helpful. If I get any more information, I will certainly share it. But like I said, everything that I have access to, I'm going to put it in the discussion section. So this won't be your only source of information. This is just the tip of the iceberg. It's just the key to the, to the lock, okay? Um, like, share, and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. And be blessed. Bye.